Well, 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 all hail the conquering hero. <sighs> Troy, what's got you so excited? Other than I finally got that promotion to producer, probably the fact that your stock is on the rise too. The response to your TLC match with KO was off the charts, and you've been on a roll ever since. I know my boss Miz has been taking notice. Okay, so what do you and Miz have for me tonight? Network sweeps are coming up, so we need to pop a big rating. And with your newfound popularity around the office, Miz has something very special planned for his undisputed WWE Universal Champion. That is the kind of cryptic answer that makes me uneasy. And when I'm uneasy, I get on edge. And when I'm on edge, that makes me want to go out there and create some chaos. Do you want me to create some chaos, Troy? Yes! That's exactly the kind of programming we want during sweeps. So head out to the ring, and we'll get to see how your chaos and Mrs. Big Surprise play out. Troy... I will head to the ring, and I don't care what Miz has up his sleeve. I'm going to tell your boss exactly what I think of him, and his big plan for sweeps. Great! Sounds like rating! According to backstage sources, The Miz has something special planned for the WWE Universal Champion. That Miz is willing to let bygones be bygones after all this guy has done is honestly inspiring. What a leader. I haven't been on SmackDown very long. But if there's one thing I've learned, it's that when our GM has a must-see announcement, it's generally bad news for me. So, Miz, I'm not going to sit back and wait for you to try to pull one over on me. Whatever big surprise you have planned, I'm ready for it. Right now. Got to admire the champion trying to do things on his own terms. Come on, Miz. What do you got? If Miz was expecting to intimidate him, doesn't seem to be working. Hellfire and brimstone. It's Kane. Talk about a big surprise. It's the big red machine. But where is he? Kane is in the ring with a huge right hand. Kane's got him by the throat. Oh, no. Say good night, champ. Low blow from the champion. Where the heck is he going? When you're on the defensive against Kane, anything goes. And you're looking at a superstar who comes into this match as a reigning champion. You can just tell he's got some extra swagger to him, knowing he's a title holder. To be a champion, you have to be among the best. He knows he's currently at the top of his game. And in this match, he's got a chance to once again prove that fact. And across the ring is the hell that awaits him. There is no way to adequately describe the suffering Kane inflicts on other human beings. Corey, some of the most gruesome images we've ever seen have been created by Kane. All in the name of suffering and what he considers to be retribution. Setting it up. Oh, boom! And he's taking this to the outside now. Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. Big clothesline! Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Bang! Boom! Boom, what impact! And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. So many dangerous attacks, one after the other, making it difficult to regain any composure. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Ah, oh, jeez. 
The Big Red Machine is now under heavy pressure. Kane has to turn this around and quick. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Setting up for something here. is insane. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. Staved off that attack. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. He's lost some of his win now. Yeah, well, that's Kane bringing terror to the competition. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Oh, he retaliates. Heads out of the ring. What's next? He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. They've got their opponent's arm. And a carefully measured knee drop. Taking this one back to the ring now. He's taking this to the floor now. Let's go, let's go. Things are getting risky. This will not end well. That was quite the impact on the apron. You might be in shock now, but you'll be feeling lasting pain for a few weeks to come. And this one might be headed ringside. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. And gets tossed back into the mat. Sorry, European uppercut. Trap the arm. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. And he tosses it back in now. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. on the apron. Kane is losing grip on this match right now. The Big Red Monster is showing weakness here. Knee lift! Oh, the knee takes a big hit. Oh, that might have just broken something. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. You dare to mess with Kane, and you will get burned. And what's he looking for here? He grabbed the chair. Uh, now would be a good time to run. Out it scouted. With the Irish whip. Kane reverses it. Oh, my goodness. Did you hear the ring steps? They heard that in Syracuse. Stop trying to suck up the coal, Saxton. This has to stop. The WWE Universal Champion needs medical attention. No, not this. Not the choke slam on the steel steps. Straight to hell, champ. This is horrific. It serves him right. He said he was ready for whatever Miz had planned. That kind of hubris has consequences. Speaking of consequences, you have to wonder if the Miz understands the ramifications of what he's unleashed.
I don't think he does. The Big Red Machine has his demented eyes set on becoming the next WWE Universal Champion. Buckle up. This is going to be one hell of a ride. Uh, hey Dom, what's up? I know things started out rough between us going for the WWE Universal title. It was dog eat dog, but I get it, because it was just like that in the yard back when I was in the joint. I, uh, sure thing man, water under the bridge. This thing Miz has going on with you and Kane, it ain't right. But I think I might know a way you can take care of that big red freak. I am definitely open to some advice, especially since I hear Miz is going to announce a title match against Kane. Glad you're willing to listen, but not here. Miz has got stooges creeping everywhere. You want my help with Kane? Meet me out in the parking lot. I'll keep that in mind. Lita actually offered to help me out too. Seems like you gotta make a choice then. Get help from Kane's old flame? or fight fire with real fire, me. I appreciate you, Dom, but Kane and Lita have history. I'm gonna see what she has in mind. Suit yourself, but just remember, when Kane beats you down and takes your title, you could have prevented it. Too bad. Lita, I appreciate you helping me out against Kane, but why are we going to Mexico? What does this have to do with anything? Listen, I got my start in Mexico, and I ended up wrestling in some pretty out-of-the-way places. Dark, dangerous places. Okay... So long before I came to WWE and met Kane, I encountered a similar monster out in the jungles of La Condon. They called him La Llama Roja, or the Red Flame. Are you messing with me? Not at all. I made some calls and I found him. So we're going to Mexico because if you can survive the flame, you might be able to defeat my dear ex-husband. That sounds like a pretty big if. Great risks, greater rewards. Come on, let's go on an adventure, kid.
The red flame was everything you said, Lita. My whole body is basically a bruise. La Yelma Roja is a legend, a monster. And as rough as you're feeling right now... <sighs> yeah? It's gonna be worse with Kane, especially now that it's a casket match. Can't wait. If you beat Kane at his own game, It'll go a long way to earn the respect of the WWE Universe. And now you know the kind of effort it's going to take to do it. It'll take everything I got. And then some. Which is why when grit and determination aren't enough to put Kane in a casket, maybe you use a little something extra. Such as? Check your bag when you get to SmackDown. When you use them, tell Kane his ex says hello. And there he is, the man who's blazing his trail through WWE. There are no pinfalls, submissions, disqualifications, or countouts. The only way to win it's for a superstar to force their opponent inside of the casket. After closing the casket lid shut, the remaining superstar will be declared the winner. Now, let the match begin. Introducing the challenger from Parts Unknown, weighing in at 323 pounds, King! And his opponent from Queens, New York, weighing in at 221 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Cactus.
serious faces on our competitors. This big moment is not lost on them. There it is, the ultimate prize, the Universal Championship. A title worth putting it all on the line for. No matter how many times I've seen a casket match, they still make me feel a little uneasy. Could you imagine being trapped in one of those? That's a natural reaction, Cole, but here's the freaky part. Kane sees that casket, and he gets excited. He loves it. The champ hasn't faced anything like this in his career. Is this the night his championship is put to rest? Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. He went for the shovel, and this might just turn from a match to a barrier. Steer clear of that. Big time close run. Good grief. How's that for a counter? Re entering the ring now. Using their boot. Boot right in the jaw. A shot like that to the ego could really shake you up mentally. Ooh, kick right to the gut. Drives a foot into the stomach. He's been put in a bind. DDT. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Lift off. Home. Vicious right forearm. Oh, right in there. He avoids the damage. On the back of the neck, what's coming here? Reverse choke slam right in the face. Into the ring now. Kane keeps him away. Got to find a way to get out of this. Into the casket. If they close the top, this one's over. He'll head to the ring. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Load over, nice, DDT. Oh my gosh. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Lands the elbow. Down to Ponent and a double axe handle smash. Setting foot in the ring now. Taking it outside the ring now. Delivered into the barricade. Oh, vicious Russian leg sweep. Right into the barricade. Into a backbreaker. Fantastic. I cannot imagine how your knee would feel after delivering that move on such a larger opponent. Punishing stretch. Things feel personal now as the champion is just tearing away at the tendons and ligaments in the shoulder. He steps foot in the ring again. Uh-oh. A stutter! Trap the arm. Yeah. Next breaker. So smooth. Yeah. Rolling neck snap. Brutal. A steady stream of moves taking out Kane. The big red monster showing weakness here. Yeah. So much torque on the knee and ankle. The challenger not looking good right now. 
They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Driving a knee into the arm. Oh, oh look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Now oh, trampling the opposition. has become the strategy here. Rolling neck snap. And an impressive amount of offense against him here. Yeah, this can't be how he pictured this fight going. So much torque on the knee and ankle. From the ground up. On oh, incredible seated suplex. Amazing how smooth that looked. Must be hitting the weight room hard if you can suplex that much weight. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Climbing up to the top now. Oh, good lord. Taking flight. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. And he's pulled the ring apron up looking under there for something. The devil's favorite demon with the devil's favorite sidewalk slam. And welcome to Kane's labyrinth of terror and destruction. A new victim sincerely invited. Fishing for something beneath the ring. The steel chair. Never as innocent as it looks. And returning to the ring. into the ring. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Sent into the corner. off their face. <laughs> Irish whip out of the turnbuckle, reversed, walking the rope, spectacular athleticism. And the clothesline on the money. Powerful takedown. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh my God. Never saw it coming. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Well, uh, what? What? No. Oh, five, four. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Dropping the knee for more punishment. The Big Red Machine is now under heavy pressure. Kane has to turn this around and quick. Ripped in the hard way. Big 
forearm. Quick back elbow detours. The Thunder takes a Pele. Great athleticism. They are primed for the casket now. But after that move, do you have the energy to get them in? Out of the ring and into the casket. The end is near. Doing their best to try and close the casket. Just delaying the inevitable. champion laid Cade to rest once and for all. I can't believe he defeated the Big Red Machine at his own game. What an incredible victory here tonight. Sure, but let's not gloss over the fact he cheated to do it. Come on, Corey. Whoa, wait. What's going on? It's Roman Reigns. Bravo. Congratulations. The Dark Horse manages to win another race. And I didn't even have to win it for you this time. Did you forget? You're only standing there because of me. The locker room hasn't forgotten. The WWE Universe hasn't. And they won't. You can hold my WWE Universal title for a year. Two years. Why not three? It doesn't matter. You're just a tenant. I'm the landlord. You're holding something that doesn't belong to you because its owner has other interests. For now. Later, Chip. Was that really necessary from Roman Reigns? I detected no lies, Cole. Roman Reigns somehow just made a huge win for the WWE Universal Champion feel like a loss. 